So now we kick off uh, <clears throat> a series of uh, performances by our product owners, people who are responsible for developing of uh, products for our customers. The first one will be Andrei Zaharov, product owner for Factoring. The product is still very much utilized in Russia as a means of financing working capital, but it has been moving in Russia over the last decade. Let's listen to Andrei, who will talk about recent developments and opportunities for international companies. Hello, I'm Andrei, factoring product owner. I have more than 10 years experience in factoring and for the last five years I have been working in Raiffeisen Bank. Coincidentally, Raiffeisen Bank launched factoring five years ago and it was a good decision because from this year the factoring market in Russia started to grow much faster than before. As we can see on this chart, since 2016 the factoring portfolio has done extremely well and has tripled up until 2020s and still growing uh, m really fast in 2021. As the latest statistics shows from that from third quarter of 2020s to third quarter of 2021st uh, portfolio increased already up to 17, 70%. So as I already mentioned, it was a perfect time to start our product development. And the fact that we are young product is our advantage. Firstly, because we have structured our processes based not only on the best market practices, but also on digitalization. At the very beginning, we decided to build our product concentrating on three core principles. Digitalization, as I said, client-centric service, which is really important for us, and customized approach. All these principles allowed us to have partnership with such a great and market-leading enterprises such as Huawei and Leroy Merlin. I will later disclose the cases of these companies, but now I would like to give you a quick introduction into factoring. There are two, side, uh, there are two sides of using factoring, the seller side and the buyers. The first product I would like to describe is for the sellers, and it is factoring without recourse. It is a unique tool to work with a deferred payment because it deals with a few major problems. The first problem is the cash gap, and it's solved by financing. You can uh, receive financing right after the shipment, uh, and you don't need to wait the payment deferral anymore. Also, financing could be cheaper than standard loans because we use uh, debtor's risk instead of yours. The next issue is late payment or non-payment from the debtor at all. And it's solved by us taking the risk to our side. The third problem is administrating and collecting debts, uh, and factoring takes this work for outsource. And the, and the fourth unique tool of factoring is that it makes your financials look better. And one of the key deals of this year in factoring in Raiffeisen Bank Russia is the Huawei non-recourse deal. And this is how it works. Huawei signed the supply agreement uh, of goods with a deferred payment of 2070 days and a fixed clause price in dollars payment in rubles with one of the largest Russian telecom companies. Huawei delivered goods, issued an invoice nominated in dollars, and after that, transferred this invoice into Raiffeisen Bank. We uh, received this invoice and financed it up to 100% uh, 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 of, of an amount in rubles uh, on CBR rate gate and fixed the exchange rate, this exchange rate, and notified the data about this rate uh, thereby removing their uh, fixed risk. At the end of the deferred payment, the debtor paid for the supply and uh, at the fixed rate in rubles. And Huawei, uh, at the end, paid the interest into Raiffeisen Bank. So, as a result, uh, we have a win-win situation for all the sides, because Huawei received financing and set off the risk of non-payment from the debtor, Data gained deferred payment and removed a fixed risk, 
and the bank started work with a great uh, client, uh, so we have now a great partnership with Huawei. As we can see, uh, not only suppliers gain advantages from the factoring, but debtors have advantages too. And to enhance these advantages, we have a special product uh, to help buyers, as known as supply chain finance, uh, and as known as reverse factoring also. And the, it is a way of offering your suppliers early payment based on your credit risk, uh, instead of theirs. And uh, what benefic benefits uh, does it provide? It can improve your working capital position uh, because when you use supply chain finance, you can benefit from longer payment terms. You can reduce supply chain risk by supporting your suppliers with affordable financing. You can minimize the risk of disruption to your supply chain. And the third, you can straight supplier relationships. Helping your suppliers improve their working capital can be a powerful tool uh, in building long-term relationships with your suppliers. And the last but not least, it can gain an advantage in negotiations. Offering suppliers supply chain finance may also give the some opportunities to your recruitment team at <clears throat> and give me them some advantages while negotiating their commercial terms. So, uh, one of the brightest examples of using supply chain finance in Russia is Leroy Merlin case. We have started our partnership uh, about four years ago, right after we launched the product, and it's really grateful and uh, beneficial uh, partnership. So, this is how it works. Raiffeisen Bank and Leroy Merlin signed a supply chain agreement with fixed interest rate for the suppliers. The Leroy Merlin recruitment team use this rate uh, while negotiating with suppliers. When negotiations are done, Leroy Merlin and supplier sign the contract and the bank and uh, supplier sign the factoring agreement. After that, bank gives the supplier access to the factoring platform, and supplier deliver goods to Leroy Merlin. And after the delivery, uh, all accepted invoices from Leroy Merlin directly transferred into our uh, factoring platform uh, directly from e uh, Leroy Merlin ERP system. So supplier don't need any, uh, doesn't need to do anything but a few clicks on the platform to receive financing. So after a uh, few clicks, uh, supplier get financed by Raiffeisen Bank and Leroy Merlin have uh, the payment deferral and pay us after the end of this payment deferral. At the end of this deferral, supplier paid interest into Raiffeisen Bank. So again, as a result, it is a win-win situation for all sides. Supplier received financing with profitable interest rates Leroy Merlin gained deferred payment uh, by an understandable price, and bank once again start work with uh, great clients. So, as you can see, factoring is diversified product which can help with operating your working capital. So, just contact me and we will find the best solution for your needs. And now I'm open to answer any questions. Thank you very much. So. He talks about factoring like his own baby, yes. I would say. You know, you know, sometimes I have the feeling that he goes to bed thinking about factoring, wakes up thinking about factoring, and dreaming about the factoring. I think you hire people by asking, do you have babies? At least the product should be your yes. baby. That's the attitude we need. Yeah. Okay. Andre, thank you very much for such great presentation on the product. And we have some questions to you. I have this one. We use credit insurance to protect the risk of non-payment. Why factoring could be better? Mm, uh, it's kind of a good question because it's really close products. Um, but um, credit insurance solve only uh, one problem, and it is um, default of the debtor, while factoring provides your financing and solve 
default of the debtor too. So uh, it's kind of different products, but uh, or, um, they are protecting from from the payment deferral, from from the payment delay, from the default of the debtor, but. Uh, factoring also provides financing. So if you need some liquidity, so if you need to improve your working capital, to, uh, factoring may be um, better than insurance. I think what's also important to mention uh, in, in that question is that also factoring helps to structure the supply chain itself and make the transparent relationships between the debtor and the suppliers. Uh, this is a kind of a wider wider notion of the product compared to credit insurance. Do you agree with me, Andre? Yes, of course. Um, of yeah. course. Uh, one more question. Um, so just, just for me to understand, could I finance the invoice uh, not right after the shipment, but at the last day of payment delay? Uh, if you financing your invoice, not right after the uh, not uh, right after the shipment. You can you can do it, but uh, if you do it, uh, mm, there's some problem because um, uh, if you will finance invoice at the end of the payment delay, uh, there is some risk uh, that debtor already will be in default. So it will be cheaper to finance uh, at the end of payment delay uh, of the payment deferral, but uh, you will protect from all risk if you will finance it right after the shipment. Understood. Thank you. Thank you, Andre. Thank you very much. Thank you, Andre, very much for sharing your experience uh, with our dear viewers. I hope that somebody could find interesting solutions for themselves.